may pick. Wait for. And then that push the. Now let's pull. Uh, pull it. Round one. What we're going to be doing is a single arm row. Remember, it's not a single arm pull. You're not just going to pull your arm up. That's going to hit the rear delta, which you should have learned from doing the shoulder sessions. What we're going to do is row it in. If you've ever been on a boat, you're not going anywhere if you just do these rows, and you're going to stay still and not even go in the water. So we're going to pull it forward here, so it's in line with the shoulder, in front of the feet. We're going to keep that shoulder blade back to activate the lat, pull it right into the hips. If you need to, put one foot back for stability, balance those hips. We're going to do 15 a side, and we're going to grab both of them and pull them in the same plane, so your palms are facing in, into the hip, for another 15. Come on, here we go. Always start with your weak arm. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move myself out of the way so you can see. Lowering it forward, lock that back up. Bam. Keeping that shoulder blade pinched back and that rear delta move contracted. It's going to mean that when I get down here, it's pulling on the lat and not in anywhere else, and I can just get a pure squeeze. 12, 13, 14, and hold. Excellent. Make sure the elbow gets up above the waist. Look, perfectly locked out back. Shoulder blade in and go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Once you use this circular motion into it, you'll really understand what the hell I'm talking about. Five, four, three, two, one. You say a lot of horrible things about me. One thing you can't say is anything about my technique. It's flawless. Well, for good reason. But it's better than most people. Come on. Let's have most people. One, two, ten. Here we go. One, two, maintain that perfect posture in the back. Squeeze the stomach, five, six, keep those shoulder blades, pinch right back, eight, nine, ten, halfway, ten, eleven, eight, seven, come on, six, count is all, five, four, three, two, and squeeze, and down. And here for some round one complete, four times, let's go. So, round two, what we're gonna need, a bar or a pole or a broomstick, whatever it is, with your bags on the end to add the weight in. We're gonna need something heavy for us to do an equivalent of here by rows. And we're gonna need some dumbbells for a back slide. We're gonna be doing, let me check my notebook. 15, 15, 15. Let's get it done. So, start with the bar. Nice deadlift position, make sure you know. Loads of people will pick the bar up like this, and then use perfect form and feel quite happy to just lock the bar down however they want. All the time form. Use yourself as much as you want outside the training, not on my watch. Here we go. Just outside shoulder width, lower it down to the knee. From there you're going to use the leg as a guide and row. See, exactly the same motion like what we did on the dumbbell before. We're going to do 20 of these. Let's mix it up. There's 10. Keeping those shoulder blades pinched. Squeeze at the top, keep the tension in it. 16, 17, 18, 19, hold, and down. So, like we tried to do with the bar, but make it a bit more suitable. We're gonna hold the weight in like this. We're gonna pull it into our stomach and towards the top of our abs. Get the elbows right back. Two bar row, one, two, lock that stomach. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, by the way I'm positioning my body is creating the arc. 11, 12, 3, 2, 1. Slowly lifting my chest up as I go. Grab your dumbbell straight into the thighs. Here we go. 3, 2, and we're off. 1, back towards the hips. Keep those shoulder blades pinched. Notice in a pattern. Five more. 4, 3, Two, boom, and down. Round two complete, we're going to do that four times. Notice the pattern in that as well. 20 on the first one, 15 and 15, get it done. So round three, what we're going to need? A bar, with your bags on the end, with weights if you've got them, whatever you've got to do to add some extra weight to that, that pole, that bar, that stick, whatever it is. So we're going to start off with, let me grab my friend. It's the closest thing I've got to a real friend that I spend time with at the moment. Isolation. Right, here we go. So, put yourself into the gorilla position, which is going to pull off the first movement. Bam, just to there. Explode up to the top. Putting the emphasis into the lower back, we're going to do a variation like a rack pull. 
Keep my shoulder blades pinched all the time. Captain, we're going to do 15 of these. Get that explosiveness into it. Three more. Alright, there we go, we're going to widen that hand, we're going to do the same motion down to the knee into the hopal. Remember, get those elbows up, up the bar. Five more. First as much as you can. Last one. Excellent. Now what we're going to do down into that position. I don't know about these clips. It's not very helpful. Here we go. We're going to do cleans for 15. Power clean. Catch on the shoulder. Get those elbows on the fat. Now we're down and explode. High pull it in, twist underneath. It's a lot more fun when you've got some serious weight. Let's learn the techniques. Use your toes together to whip that pressure in. Two more. Come on, let's do this friendly. Four more. And that. Excellent. So, when we're back in the gym, we've got some actual weight on the bar. You'll notice the technique comes up a bit smoother because you need the weight to help. And it helps you get the weight out when you start moving up. Let's learn this technique. Speed those elbows up. Round up. Round four. This one's going to be a bit interesting. We've already tried this out in the Zoom session and it works pretty well. I'm going to use a resistance band, but if you haven't got one, I'm going to use a towel, something we can pull on and create tension. It's a three-part exercise, we're going to do lying back pull. Come to work. After that, we're going to do lying back flows. We're going to have to emphasize more back towards the hip. You'll understand what I do. After that, we're going to do Superman. It's really going to hit your lower back. Get a lot of tension in it. These are fantastic. Move this out of the way. Let's actually move it out of the way. I think we can do well. Right, I'm going to risk showing everybody how bald I'm going, but that's fine because it'll make it a lot longer than my brother did. Right, so lying forward, imagine you're going to create that position that you do on the left hold. I'm going to put our arms out and forward, cut the tension in, make sure it's if you're holding a bar, and pull into the collarbone and squeeze. You feel it pulling into your trap. Try and get those shoulders back. I've wrote down 15 a piece, but we'll do 20 because, ah, uh, take that. Three, two, one. Excellent, pop the band down. Get yourself into a decent position so you've got space here the side. How are you doing? Here we go, come on. One, two, keep those shoulder blades pinched. Four, five, Six, not in line with the shoulders, back. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five, four, three, two, one. Here's where it gets super interesting. Arms up. I've never seen Superman pull a position like this, but let's give him a break. So we're gonna lift our chest and our arms up. We're also gonna lift our legs up from the hip as well. Gonna squeeze into your lower back. Here we go, 20 reps. One, two, three, four. Try not to catch your toes on the radiator as you go. It's not pleasant. Give that nice squeeze at the top. Five more. Excellent. So, little sway. That's the back section complete. What we need to do on that last part in the super remember we're going to do that four times. If you can feel it more in one side than the other, maneuver your hips. It's really important because it's going to help straighten your hips out, strengthen the weak parts. So find it, isolate it so you can feel the pump exactly the same on both of the spinal erectors, aka those two columns down your back. Good work, bicep time. Right, round five, bicep time. We're going to start off with the drug curl. 
keeping the bar close to us all the way through, we're going to drag it over to the chest. Let's have my elbows there back till we get right to this position. It's going to be if you're all there. Maintaining your grip, you're going to feel a super tight squeeze. Those elbows should stay behind all the way. On the way down, you're going to take it back down your chest. After that's remaining with the bar, we're going to look and come up. We're going to stop right there. Look at that pump. That one, man, we've got a weight. If we bring it all the way up and squeeze, you can take the tension off it. We're using this to cheat. Don't cheat, you've got all day to do absolutely nothing. Work. So, here we go. 15 a piece, 4 sets. Keeping that bar super close, watch. 1, 2, let's try not turn it into some sort of pornographic image. 3, there we go. 4, 5, feel that tension. 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way down, 10, get that stretch, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 more, boom, from there we're going to turn into a cup, here we go, let's burn them out, 20 reps, 1, 2, 3, Four, stretch it right into the elbow. It's going to create a bigger bicep. Six, it's going to give that good little little hang. Want that bicep to stop right in the elbow, please. Nine. Ten, there we go, halfway. Ten. Nine, anyone who's experienced can tell when someone doesn't know what way to go on because they've got underdeveloped biceps. Six. Five, come on. Four. Three. Two. Last one, we're going to squeeze. Big negative. Four, three, two, one. Excellent. Really burn the lights out. Put the emphasis into the bicep. If it's not burning, squeeze it more. Round done. Round six, final round. Well done, we're nearly there. So, get the heaviest weights you can get. It's really time to do I'm going to use these big boys. Just for you guys, let's get that pump on. We're going to start with normal curls. We're going to go into Spider-Man hammers, which I'll explain when we get down, and then we're going to do concentration curls both arms to finish us. So, here we go. Starting with those palms facing in, bring it up and twist. One. Remember why we stuck it exactly the same all the way through. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. We're going for 15. Seven. Should we do 20? Yeah. Eight. Nine. So isolation. Off. Halfway. Eleven. I'll probably regret that. Twelve. Thirteen. Especially when I've already done this with my group. Fourteen. Fifteen. There we go. Trying to avoid the swing. There's a heavy. Seventeen. Eighteen. Twist that pinky round. Nineteen. Yeah. One more. <laughs> Boom. Right. What are we going to do then? And then just be doing this now. Oh. Remember we did spider on curves in the day? I'll go into the freeze if you want this. This one we're just going to do straight from the curve. So, grab your weights, 15 reps. Elbows in. I'm going to sit back. One, two, watch your hips hold in place. Three, four, stay right over until we get the ground here. Six, seven, eight. This is the last one. Right up hard. Nine, sit back. Two, 
And you got three, four, five, six, seven, Fantastic work guys, did it just in time because the battery's running out, absolutely smash it, next up shoulders, come on!